Hey, this is James from Realty Candy. I'm here with Alma. She's one of our team members that helps us take care of agency partners. And we've been talking with a bunch of people about what you can do with high level on an IDX broker. And we just want to make a little video because we're finding that we're doing these meetings and they're like the same thing. So we're going to try to make a little 10 minute video and show you some of the stuff. So let's dive in real quick. I'm going to share my screen here. Um, this is the first place you log in here to, uh, to your high level account down here. We have a custom menu link it pulls in our custom dashboard, uh, that shows all your lead activity. So I want to show you a couple things with this. So one is you can see, we've got a 103 activities, 46 views in the last, uh, 30 days. And this is all demo data, but we can also dig this, break this down and just show it per, uh, per client. So like, if we want to just see Brandon's activity. We can click here and just see the things that that Brandon's looked at. And a couple of things that I think are cool is right here, like for example, if we say, well, uh, Brandon's looking at these homes for 669,000 from right here inside a high level, I can just create a search here. Let's call it Brandon uh, 669 or something like that. Homes in Coral Gables, like the one we clicked on, it adjusts the price kind of up and down to give us a range and I can, Say I, don't, I want to make that, you know, six, oh, let me change that, 619, whatever I want that to be, uh, minimum bed, minimum bath, has this, I can change some of these settings if I want to, but for our purposes, we'll just say there. I can create another search. So now, the way this is set up is he's actually going to get, you can see, I click the receive updates, he's going to get email updates whenever that uh, any new properties show up that, that meet that search criteria. So that's that's a pretty cool feature, I think. Another thing that folks have asked us about is from right there, we can click the email button and it takes us right into the conversation part of, of high level. And I can shoot old Brandon an email. Hey, Brandon, this is James over at Realty Candy. I see that you're looking at this property and whatever. And I can send it right there to him. Another thing, um, you can flip through and look at some of his information right here and his activity notes and whatever from right here inside of this page. Um, I wanna show you something else. So now if you come back up here and let's go back up to contacts, let's go, we'll look up some more stuff about our buddy Brendan here. So if we go search for Brandon, you can see, first of all, we've tagged him as an IDX lead. So when it comes in there, we can run any kind of automations we want based on that. And uh, when when we load this page, you can see, for example, like if I look over here at notes, this is actually going to load up all of his uh, IDX traffic right here in the sidebar. And so I can use this data to build automations. So we'll we'll talk about that here in a few minutes. But you can see this has got saved properties, viewed properties, um, saved searches, and we can see his search criteria that he's saving homes. You know, homes between 100 and 300 with three beds and two baths. All this information is built right here inside of uh, inside of the notes section. We also added this little IDX button. So we can see Brendan's latest activity right here. If I want to look at it in another, you know, presentation, I say, hey, I want to see his, you know, saves property searches or he's saved three properties in the last three days. What's he looking at? So this, these are all built in. Um, you've probably seen some of our stuff. Like we mentioned, we build all this for free. We get credit from the IDX companies. And so you know, our goal is to get a bunch of folks that want to use this and use this in high level and, you know, marketing, real estate marketing agencies that can sell this. So when you go back over to automations, we've built in a few workflows. And this is a, this is an interesting thing. We're adding some more workflows, but a lot of people have asked us, hey, does your workflow do this or that? And uh, what we've told folks is if you're looking for something specific, we can help you build it. But what we find is that what one client thinks is valuable isn't that beneficial for another client and, and vice versa. So um, client score, you can add a client score right here from the notes. So we go in, we look at these notes and we, based on what they're getting in notes, 
we made some branches here, save searches, save properties, viewed properties, add 10, add five, add one point. And you can modify that or add more features to it or whatever. It's pretty, pretty easy. Another thing I like is, um, for example, if the client hasn't looked at any IDX pages in the last three days, we chop a point out of there. So it helps us be able to monitor, you know, active clients and who's doing stuff. So that's that's a good one too. We also have our lead email mail out. So instead of sending all their safe searches from the IDX broker platform, um, we actually have it set up so you can send this uh, from inside of high level and uh, you can use a uh, an email template. So you can just make your own email template right here in, inside of, uh, here's the template, lead email, save search, scheduled mail out. And we can send that uh, email or it could be a text message or whatever we wanna do um, based on new properties showing up. Um, what else do we have? There's some reactivation email sequences. We have the Plunk home valuation for seller leads. That's a great tool too. We can track uh, what's going on. You can monitor that if send a new home valuation out to your client every month or every quarter or whatever it is that, that you want to do. And, you know, here's viewed the same property three times, run some automation based on that. Um, that's pretty much the whole story. We also have a, a little, another little dashboard in here that breaks these leads out per agent. So if you have multiple agents, uh, they all have their own sub account or they're using a, the same sub account inside of high level. You can set this up so they can only see their lead traffic, their lead activity so that, you know, their leads aren't going into another agent's dashboard. Uh, this is, this is a really cool feature. We get a lot of people asking about this one. And of course we have a lot of these same things set up for, for iHome Finder. So if you're using iHome Finder, that's an option too. Um, here at Realty Candy, we've been using IDX Broker. We've been IDX Broker developer partners for over 12 years. Um, we, uh, we've we been building software over at uh, idxaddons.com for about five years. So we have, let me show you real quick. We have about 75 web apps that we give our clients for free. I mean, there's something like the Google ads creator and stuff like that. Um, Google maps, search tools, all kinds of stuff. We have some that we think are kind of optimized for high level. If you go to idxaddons.com forward slash GHL, you can see, you know, some of these lead connector tools, you know, our one click websites, single property websites, uh, the Plunk Home Valuation Tool. All these are built into our system. Um, and we have the website. There's our works flow snapshot. So you can download that and, and use that. I'll show you one last thing here real quick. So you can build a website. This is the kind of websites our website uh, generator builds. Um, hooks up all the IDX stuff for you. It's got the widgets. So it's kind of a built for you done for you system, community pages, whatever those communities are. We've got Google Maps that uh, show, you know, properties based on the area you're looking at. And, uh, you know, you can click off here and go look at this data. Another thing is you get access to our <clears throat> AI powered uh, community builder. So you can build community pages. This is all demo data, of course, but this shows like the most popular, most expensive, least expensive property in this uh, IDX account. There's the properties on a map. We have some stats for folks right here, a little Yelp integration. Then you can see here, we've put in um, this AI generated content so that Google can sink their teeth into this a little bit. You can get a little Google juice this is pretty uh, real estate centric stuff here. So you're going to, this is good stuff for build some community pages. And then we show a dynamic property here. So as these properties come on and off the market, this always updates. This is one of our apps uh, inside of, inside of uh, 
IDX add-ons. So this is what the platform looks like. Here's the apps. Like here's the one-click community that I was just showing you. The, this one, yeah, good point. This one uh, is only available for IDX Broker Platinum accounts. Most of our features work for Light or Platinum, but like IDX Broker just doesn't give us access to, to be able to build this inside their system unless they have a Platinum account. So one of the common questions, speaking of that, people ask, what's the difference between Light and Platinum? Well, there is a price difference for one thing, and obviously, since we get compensated based on that, we make more money if they use platinum. But even if they were the same price, you want your clients to get platinum because we get more functionality inside of IDX Broker. Like this one is a great example of that. We also get more API calls. So like for the um, email marketing tools, we need that. Um, there's saved sold property data in MLSs that provide that. And... Uh, there's also um, market reports and some other features. Basically, what we found is that if folks, um, you know, for the $40 a month difference, 35, 40 bucks a month difference, they get a lot of extra uh, features. So we we think folks should use Platinum. If, if, if they can't afford it or whatever, then they can hook up with Light. Another quick question people ask all the time. Okay, so how do I get started? Well, a couple of things you can do. Go to realtycandy.com, agencies. Here's the solution. You can create your login. Here's some step-by-step -step, uh, things. To a little video shows our dashboard. If you already have a client that wants to use IDX Broker and get set up, just click this Become Our Client button on any page. If they don't already have an IDX broker account, you want to click here and that takes you to a sign up form like this one. They'll put in their name and address. The broker will need to sign it. They'll need to sign it, know what MLS they're in and stuff. If they already have an IDX broker account, all they need to do is click one of these four buttons and shoot an email off to IDX broker that essentially says, I want to use Realty Candy as my developer partner. Their payments continue as they are directly to IDX broker. That's pretty much the whole schmeal right there. Alma, is there something that you're thinking of that I need to include in this? No, I think the review was really complete. <laughs> it's what they ask most of the time. Okay. Well, um, I guess that's all we have. I'll make this a video and we'll share it on our uh, social channels. Thank you for joining me, Alma. Thank you.